Grace Kitchens presents Creative Cooking. In this series, we showcase the talents of some of our favorite chefs as they demonstrate how to prepare some of their favorite dishes. And now, here is today's host. Hello there. Welcome to Creative Cooking. My special guest on the program is Mr. Royce, the executive chef at Couples Negri. Hi, Chef, did I pronounce your name well? It's not bad. It's, uh, you know, my last name is very difficult for the English language. You it's pronounce it for me. Misha Rous. Okay. Welcome to Creative Thank Cooking. Thank you very much. We're delighted to have you on the Great program. Great to be here. Okay. Great to be here. Yeah. Chef, uh, oh, what are you cooking for us today? Well, we're going to do a poached lobster, so, and actually it's going to be a butter poached okay. lobster. So I'm going to make um, a very classic French technique, it's uh, beurre monté, it's yeah. called. So we heat up the flame, and then it's just a little drop of water. Yeah. And then we start slowly adding some butter, and we just keep on stirring that. Mm -hmm. now, it looks like a lot of butter, but... It's just for the poaching and it gives it a nice rich flavor to the lobster. Okay. What are some features we need to look out for when we are purchasing lobster? lobster? The best way, of course, is to buy it fresh. If it's still alive, it has to be fresh. That's a good sign. So, yeah. so now you see it's not separated. And it's smooth. It's nice and smooth, so we can just add a little bit of salt. I, because I use unsalted butter because you want to maintain the salt level. You don't okay. want to make right. it too salty. Quite often when you use uns a salted butter, it gets a little too salty. Now you yeah. don't want to bring this to boil. You just keep it at a low heat. So okay. we're going to turn on the other one. Very, very low. And then we're going to transfer this one over here. So to the melted butter, you added the butter, one eighth of a teaspoon of, salt, of black pepper. And the same amount of salt? And a little bit of salt, yes. And then we just add the lobster. So we'll leave that going and go on to the next thing. Okay. Next thing I want to show you, just a nice pom maxime it's called. Okay. Uh, very crispy uh, potato. Yes. Just a nice Irish potato on a very thin setting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of clarified butter on there. So you're using about a tablespoon? About a tablespoon yes. of clarified butter. Yes. Now a little trick. Yes, tell me about to it. keep it nice and stuck together, the yes. slices. Yes. We use a little bit of cornstarch in here on the potato as well. You're using about a half teaspoon. Half teaspoon. Okay. And this would just make sure that the uh, potatoes are coated. And remain we apart. Eh? Remain apart. All the sides have to be coated with the cornstarch and with the butter. Okay. Yeah. Now the potato. Very carefully. Hot pan. Lay them in a nice fashion. You know, because I always say that I eat first. Oh, sure, sure. So it's all about presentation. So what I'm doing here is just lay them around, overlapping each other. Okay, so you like create that. a pattern there. Exactly, yeah. almost like a flower pattern, yeah. Right. And you can do two in one pan, right. depending on how big your party is. Mm -hmm. Now what else we're going to use with this dish is uh, a herb oil. Okay, tell us about herb it. Herb oil. Now what I did with this time, yes. I used a juicer. Mm -hmm. you know, some people have a juicer at home, that's how yeah. I did the, the beetroot, but we'll oh, come wow, to that yeah. later. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so the herbs in the juicer and then just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, of course. And share with us, Chef, what herbs do you use? For, for this time I use parsley. Parsley, okay. Nice right. bright green color. Okay. Yeah. And then we just mix it up. A little emulsified. Okay. And we'll use that to finish off the dish. Now for this also, of course, seasoning is key. Mm -hmm. Just a little pinch of salt, salt. and a very little pinch of pepper. Okay. I always look to, like to use my hand. Okay. Because if you do it straight out of the jar... Too much will come out. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You're going to end up with very peppery herb oil. Mm -hmm. So that's the herb oil. Okay. Now let me put this on the side because we have some made already. Okay. So we can keep this over here. And then we just start with the second sauce. Now the second sauce is a, a beetroot essence. And we add probably about half a cup of beetroot juice. Yes. And then with that, we add a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Okay. And then with that, of course, again, come back to salt and pepper. Pepper again. Pepper. And we just let that kind of simmer through. 
Okay. Then we'll juice in a little bit. Okay. Is the lobster okay? Uh, yes, it's poaching beautifully. It's poaching beautifully. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to allow that to reduce, is that it? Uh, reduce a little bit, yes. Mm -hmm. we'll intensify the flavor okay, even more. Okay, certainly, right? Yeah. Okay. Now to keep this sauce a little body, yes. we're going to use a little bit of cornstarch. Okay. If you don't boil your cornstarch properly, Lumps will form, it will be unappetizing. Lumps are going to form and also it's going to going to give you a kind of a grainy no, texture. You want you something that is very smooth, nice and right? smooth, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. You see, it gets a little thick, mm -hmm. little velvety. Mm -hmm. Very delicious. Yeah. Oh, wow. Just let that simmer through a little bit. You want to give an eye on this? I'm going to flip them again. One that's always a little stubborn, isn't it? Yes. It's always one that's stubborn. Part of life. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this is the beetroot sauce we have ready now. Uh, we use enough butter already in this yes. dish, mm -hmm. but in general, I'm a, fer a fan of olive oil. Yes. It's also healthier than butter. Right. Start with a little bit of onion. Mm -hmm. Some nice bell pepper. Mm -hmm. Use red this time, so it keeps it. A Nice color. We'll just saute that lightly. So we add the, some of the kalaloo. I'm sure this is very basic. Mm -hmm. Sauteed kalaloo. Some of the skills you are displaying in, in, in the kitchen, I suppose it comes with, with, with time and constant practice, isn't it? True, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. 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 I have some great guys in the kitchen, uh, oh. a big team of 60 people I'm oh, running. Okay. So, okay. Um, okay. And some of them, they're on the, on the omelette station. Yes. Oh, and that's oh. a very active, uh, busy yeah. station. Yes. And that's where the flipping of the pan really comes yes. in. And it's all in the wrist. Yeah. <laughs> so a little salt, a little pepper again. Yeah. Come to the fun part. Okay, you want to change your board? I'm gonna do part of no, and yes, then I'm okay. gonna change the board to cut the lobster. Okay. I'm gonna start with our vegetables. So we do a nice portion of kalaloo on the base of the plate. Mm -hmm. That's one. This is a yellow cutter board, and of course everybody knows that. Well, not, maybe not everybody, but in the hotel it's very important that you use the proper coded, color coded cutting boards. And blue is for seafood. So we're gonna carefully take the lobster. How about tell the me about the angle at which you're gonna cut that? The can angle is really it's to lay it nicely on the plate. So I'm always thinking one step ahead. Yes. I'm gonna present it, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna cut it. Okay. And we lay that nicely on the just like that. Keep the shape of the of the lobster. And just lay it on the plate. So get that little extra green hue on the plate. Just a little on the lobster as well. Then we have the bright color of the beetroot. What a contrast. And then just to top it all off, the infamous Pom Maxime. And just lay one on top. And there you have it. There's your butter post lobster with salted sort of color. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Thank You're very you. welcome. Thank you. You're very welcome. And I know our viewers are saying the same thing. They'd like to prepare a dish um, as you have just prepared. This is Chef Season on Creative Cooking. And we hope you enjoyed today's show. Join us every Monday morning at 7.35 as we showcase the talents of some of our favorite chefs demonstrating some of their favorite dishes here on Smile Jamaica It's Morning Time. Chef Season continues next Monday morning on Creative Cooking, 7.35 on TVJ, and with a repeat at 2.50 p.m. every Sunday afternoon. Don't miss it.